Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. I got something exciting. I have uh, my MIDI keyboard here. And uh, da, 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 da. here's the drum pads. Come on. I need to get a better setup here. I bought a slider for my MIDI keyboard to go underneath my desk. We're into complications. Needless to say, I'm having a very frustrating day. It took me forever to get the lighting set up where this webcam started to look good. So with the lighting and uh but uh yeah so this this is a drum kit i built of my own samples that i've uh pretty much taken from various sessions over the years the the main uh, uh session was the one at uh horizon music group that i did a couple videos on before and i built this all on Apisonic Labs speed drum platform, which is uh, really neat. Um, I've been looking for something to uh, do this with uh, a program for a while. And uh, I found this one and there was one other one that didn't, uh, that only had a couple um it only had three different uh, velocity layers. Uh, it did have round robin and velocity layers at the same time, but um, because it only had three velocity layers, I decided to go with Speed Drum, which does have it does have velocity layers and round robin, but you have to choose one or the other, unfortunately. So. But I w I'd rather have vol more velocity layers than uh, than uh, round robin. So that's what I ended up going with uh, the program. I think it's like seventy five dollars, and uh, it doesn't come with. Or I think there's some a few drum kits that are uh, built on this that it could come with. But I I, I had trouble finding them, but. That's not why I built this anyway. I wanted something to uh, start building songs with, with my own drum sounds. So this is the Franken Sonar kit uh, called because it's kind of a mishmash of different sonar drums. Um, the Tom Toms are all uh, the Chinese maple shells, which are fantastic drums. They're, they're really, they, they, I'd put them up against some of the like mid to upper level kits from like Tama, but yeah, they're really good. This is a 22 inch by 14 inch, uh, 70. It's the Centennial badge phonic, which is their heavy beat shells. They're yeah, they're classic, like really big sounding drums before they started making a lot of the lighter shells which they do now which are also fantastic but um i bought that a few years ago and the snare drum is not a sonar that's my uh aluminum snare drum that i made a video about about a year yeah a little over a year ago so i have this set up where um i have a close of each drum and uh the room sounds on separate pads so you can mix them individually uh i didn't do much uh processing on on the sound so pretty much all this the individual samples like um so this is where each pad shows the samples that it's uh, made up of you get up to eight on each pad uh these individual samples are very, very, uh, have very little processing on them. And that's because I wanted to be able to send all the individual pads out onto, uh, individual tracks and then mix them as, as needed based on the style or whatever. <clears throat> but, uh, the thing, the thing that I really like about, uh, Apisonic 
is there's a lot of um, mixing options in here that you could um, uh, do a lot of processing inside the uh, the module itself. Or yeah, so it has all these options. So there's uh, filters, uh, compression, transient, designer. Uh, yeah, so you could you could do a good amount of processing in here before you go to mix down. So you could just finish it, or if you just want complete uh, neutral sound, you could do that too. So I will um, give this away for free to anybody who's running speed drum. And yeah, so I'll put uh, link, links to the files down in the description. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a way to demo this, and uh, I was going to do a video. I've tried a few times to do a video of me building some of the samples and how I mixed together the different sessions, but basically I, I made... Um, <clears throat> uh, trigger two TCI files of certain sounds. And then I went to the, um, the, the horizon music group session and, um, used the, the tracks from that session to trigger the older sounds and mix them together like that. So that's basically how I did that. But I tried several different times to make a video demoing how, uh, the, showing the process and it just it, it never came out where it was like entertaining and uh enough so I, I i i wasn't satisfied but at some point i'll i'll go through that process and try to make something that's actually uh watchable but i haven't been able to do that yet but what i want to do instead is um a couple different songs have been popping up in my in my life over the past few weeks or so and uh one of them is off the wall by michael jackson because i've been watching a lot of <laughs> mac tonight videos <laughs> so uh, obviously saint pepsi is going to come up and uh with his uh enjoy yourself uh thing and um the other one was uh a shakedown street and um so i started thinking May i want to try my hand writing a track that kind of sounds like that so, you know something funky with uh funky disco y with uh that um really chorusy reverby bass sound and which i i've never really experimented on trying to get sounds like that so i want to try that especially because this is these uh these kind of the sounds i got here aren't typically People aren't usually doing tracks that, you know, that kind of style with these kind of sounds. So I kind of want to do some uh, genre bending, see if I can make it fit. Just to see how uh, versatile these samples are. Um, there's some quirks in here. I mean, uh, uh, like the the professional kits, virtual drum kits probably have uh, much more rounded edges, and uh, but you know I'm happy with the way this sounds. So yeah, that's it. I'll just get right into it. So I'm gonna start composing, and what I got here is I got a session set up. Uh, I'm going about 105 beats, and I just want to car game off. We're right on the road here. <laughs> I got this session set up at 105 beats per minute, and I just want to come up with a... Come up with some kind of funky beat. And um, I got this set up for um, eighth notes and no accents because I, I, I want to throw some odd time signatures in there. So I don't want to have to hear the accent on every beat or on every uh, bar to interrupt. So if I want to just um, start a new bar on an offbeat eighth note, because that's kind of what I'm hearing in my head, I can be able to do that without 
you know, have being interrupted by the uh, the accented beat. And then I'll just uh, set up the uh, tempo map, tempo time signature maps accordingly to what I play after I go through and edit it. Okay. So I'm just going to start recording and see what happens. Noise, 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 noise. Got a bunch of musicians living in a house together. <laughs> Something about that's just not working for me. Um, let's try getting that uh, metronome a little louder. Got to get the stank face going. I like that one there, yeah. All right, so I think I got enough there. Uh, I'm going to cut out and do some editing and then come back with something uh, uh, set to, you know, four bar loops and stuff. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. <laughs> I thought, why? Well, why? Why cut out? Show the show that process. All right. So this is probably going to be a little frustrating at first. So I'll have to pick out something, some things I like. I like this one. Yeah, there. So. So I have to, you know, uh, do I want to, um, wow. Here, let me, uh, I think, uh, let's do some basic edits. All right, first I'm going to, where? Quantize, but not too hard. 80% use grid. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to humanize the velocity. Not that much. I don't know what that does. Maybe try that again. Gonna give myself a little more headroom there. Humanize. Yeah, that's much better. Now that's too much. That's something I need to uh, learn as I'm become a better finger drummer. It's like all these notes are like right, <laughs> right at 127. That's too much. That's still too much. See, everything's hitting on 127, and it just, I want there to be some dynamics. What was that, 14%? That was a little too much. Let's go 8% and see. Here's one of the quirks I found with, uh, I don't know if it's between my MIDI controller and Apisonic, um, but <clears throat> here, you see here, those uh, two snare hits. Okay, this one here I fixed. Whoops. There's something, uh, the, the close um, pad and the room pad are, there's some kind of uh, issue where one isn't, they're not both triggering at the same time. So now just... Uh, just moving the um, the velocity a little bit just fixes that. And but uh, when I'm actually playing playing the pads, uh, yeah, you won't get complete and total simultaneous triggering of both pads at the same time. So you'll hear either just the close source or the room source. But I'll, I'll go through, you know, and fix the ones that need to be fixed. Marty's being loud. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, I forgot where I was.
All right, let, I guess we have to go back to the beginning. All right, uh, I guess I need to take a break because uh, loud roommates are loud. Yeah, they're still making noise, but whatever. All right, so I'm just going to duplicate this track. And... Noise, noise, noise. Get rid of this. Yeah, my finger drumming can use some work. that bar go that I liked. Let's, uh, let's go back before I... Yeah, that was it. Where was that? So... Yeah. All right, so let's grab... Where's that? Bar 17. I see, I got a... Duplicate track. Control. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right, so I'll cut it there. Where are we? There we 
There we go. Let's, uh, all right, so, do this. It's like right on the beat too. And remember, I didn't, I didn't, I took off the quantization that I put on because it was messing up everything, messing up the feel. All right, so what do we got here? and uh, what happens maybe let's do that instead So that would be a bar of three, four there. And then it goes back to four, four. Noisy, noisy, noisy. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six bars. So that really doesn't make sense. Um, so we'll make that the fourth bar, which means I take this and stick it on here. Control Z. Ah, it's because I didn't. Copy. Control D.
so. Copy that. Wait, no. What? Copy. Control V. Uh, let's fix some of these little quirks in here. Yeah, there's one. Another one. Nice. Um, here, let's glue this together. And let's uh, let's work on these uh, high hats. Work on the hats. this where is the grids it's quarter notes Yeah, let's just make them all straight eighth notes for now. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm surprised at how many of these uh, eighth notes fall fell directly on the beat. Yeah, 
I think that's good enough to start as a base for a snippet of music. Copy that. Control V. Um, Yeah, so let's do, uh, that's eight bars, 12 bars, 16 bars. Let's do 16 bars and I'll put in the, uh, I'll put in the time signature changes later. Just want to get this down and then I'll pick up the bass and slap at the bass a bit. It. Mute the hat. I like it. All right. Let's get out the bass. <clears throat> Ooh, there she is. <sighs> yeah, this is a Fender made in Japan. I guess they're calling, saying crafted in Japan now, but um, this is a, a 75 reissue, I guess. Uh, if you've seen any of the King of, King of Glick videos, she's using a lot, this bass in a lot of her videos. And of course, as she gets more famous, the less likely is she's going to continue using this bass. That's when I first started seeing her videos, I was like, yeah, make that bass famous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the more famous she gets the more uh people are going to be throwing free bases at her <laughs> free expensive bases it is what it is all right so i'm gonna fiddle around with getting uh Getting that uh, chorusy bass sound a bit. Just bear with me. Insert new track. Uh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's do some improv. hear how that sounds. Nice. 
Ja. That's not not the right sound of what I'm going for. So I'm going to try and come up with something, a basic riff, and then I'm going to come back. I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. All right. So I think I got the basic idea. So... Stay on A minor. Seventh. And then something like that at the end of the phrase here's what I'm thinking like that so I'm gonna keep figuring out how to how to wriggle that little riff into that um, four bar space and uh, I'll be back all right so basically I um, played this riff a little I played it a bunch of times and now I'm just kind of like uh, seeing where that fits into the three, four time change. I think I like what I got going on here so far. Uh, but I think I need another note on the end there. So I'm gonna grab. I think I'm going to grab this note here. And stick it somewhere in there. No. Let's see. Come on. I think I like that. Nah. Yeah. It's kind of landing on a uh, 16th note there, huh? All right, let's fix this. Oh, I don't know. 
know, maybe that is, maybe that can land there. Let's see. Let's see. Where's this going? Nice. <laughs> I like it. Here, let's uh <laughs> I like it. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's, uh, yeah. yeah, let's go right up to that note, right up to that goat, do time selection auto punch. I think that'll have, I think that'll do what I want it to do. just so we don't cut off that transient there. I just don't want anything to overlap, that's all. Yeah, I think that's more of the idea. Yeah, I like that better. I'll get this straightened out and uh, get back. All right, I think I got something, something going on here. Let me get rid of this. Control X. Let's copy this. 
Uh, first, uh, let's, uh, let me, uh, just level match those two. Then, going to glue items. I'm going to copy. And then, what's going on here? Let's hear. Let's hear some of this. Let's take the. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, I should have. All right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Bring that to the end of the bar. Sheesh. Um. There we go. Turn that back on. Then glue again. There we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. Don't worry about the bar markers later. I mean, it's not perfect, but... something off there but yeah that'll be uh, a turnaround or a... and then I'll come up with a chorus or whatever but um let me uh, throw some uh, drum fills in there so we can get some Tom Tom sounds at least for the uh, verse Grab my keyboard. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Let's keep it simple. That's good enough. Like I said, my my finger drumming needs my finger sk skill drumming needs 
skills. What? <laughs> My finger drumming skills need work. So, admittedly. But I think that's a pretty good start of a new tune. And uh, I'll keep working on that and uh, making videos out of that. But that was a good, um, I think this is a good way to demo my new kit. Uh, download it if you got speed drum. And tell me what you think. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>